do a little flying today. Um, we are at the Little Piper, and uh, man, this thing's a good little airplane. The Tri Pacer is also a good uh, airplane uh, for the amount of money that you'll spend on them and what you get. It's pretty good. Uh, this plane uh, on the tail, uh, you know, is cruising at about uh, 125 or so miles per hour. So it does pretty good. Um, and it's been up to, say, about 130, and we have the ability to put the wheel pants on. We're still waiting on that. Do a little checklist and flying done today. I, th I think it's going to be a beautiful day. And good, this wind has shifted to more out of the south from the east. Uh, so it's a little bit more down the runway. So we should be okay there. Uh, actually getting better for us and uh, our short field. So we'll be coming up on the camera. Uh, got a little bucket there. That's about 800 feet. So what I'm going to try to do uh, today is practice on my short field take off and lands. Um, I've been working a little bit on that, uh, just haven't been able to get the cameras together and uh, do that. So eh, we're coming up almost at 100 degrees there. So we're gonna, so I'm gonna come all the way in with the throttle now that we're in the green. Hold the brakes. That's it. We are going down the runway. And we're off. We did it. All pressure still good. Temperature's good. We're going to see if we can do a good pattern, good square pattern with our runway. Uh, we did have that east crosswind, so we'll be prepared for that. And All right, looks like we're set up at about 80 right now. And we're about to come into this headwind. Perfectly set up right now on the runway. We're high, but we're set up. that uh that didn't work out as my short field takeoff so we'll uh come back around and try it again 
we're going to start flying at 80 so we're going to i'm going to try to set up a little bit better i've got the flaps in um back it off to where everything is kind of stabilized at low f speed flight uh, i mean it's i'm still climbing and something to get comfortable with is that's what I've been trying to work on is just getting comfortable in this airplane flying at that slower speed it's um, being short field it kind of gets a little mushy uh, short wing and everything so working on it I've got plenty of runway so I'm not too worried about it but what I'm trying to do is to short field take off the landings and uh, that's where the problem comes in. Oh my goodness. We'll just go around. That was a huge bounce. I don't know what I was doing there. Definitely tested the landing gear on that one. Okay, this is where I need to be. I need to be about 75, 70, 75. Uh, and just motion along. Uh, the problem that I'm having is when I turn that corner to come up on fire. I think I have it set up and then I don't, I'm just not quite set up. I need to extend out a little bit farther, uh, ride the 70 a little bit better. It's like I'm at a nose up attitude. Okay, here we are on final. This is the problem. I'm way high. So, I haven't, I've been doing uh, one notch of flaps, and uh, so we can go full flaps, which is the second notch, and give that a try and see if that will help us with our angle of, uh, of approach. Uh, just having such a uh, low angle of approach that... Uh, it just puts me way, way, way down the runway, and it's too far. So, okay. All right, we're set, and we're going to get to about 50. Come in with the... Climb out at about 70 is what the book says. I am flying hands off at about 75 right now. 
so uh, or without any pressure on the yoke all pressure is good we're at 1500 rpms cruising at 70 coming in on final uh, this angle looks a little bit better a little slow slower than I'm used to I should say okay we're into the wind we're way high again but I got speed brake on now good that was I like that a lot better with the full flaps uh, it seemed like that that did work uh, pretty good okay here we go we're gonna do it again another short field takeoff Uh, no reason, just ready to uh, do the flying. 